Well, here we go. Quarter final number three here. The Acton 2021 Archery 20, World Cup final. And we're going to see age versus experience Germany versus the USA. Well, you can hear the support for the teenage sensation, Casey Calthorpe, just 17 years old. Ranked 13th in the world, just took the silver medal at the World Championships. Goes up against a little bit more of experience in the German, Michelle Kruppen, who's the world number 14 at 25 years old and has just come back from Tokyo with a team bronze medal at the Olympic Games. So both riding high at the moment. Calfold on home soil. So Crofton will get this quarter final underway. The German facing the American Calfold. Make an adjustment, be happy with the shot, get your sight moved, get the next one in the middle. A little bit of movement from Croppen, some nerves in there. Casey should be feeling fairly confident with her outings here already on this stage at the World Championships a few days ago. She shoots without fear, doesn't she, the 17-year-old? Three nines mean that Coffin will go into the second set with a two-point lead. Left-hander finally finds the centre of the target and the support getting behind her. Very different styles, these two. Very different processes. <laughs> yeah, Casey looks like she's kind of leaning forward a little bit on the shot. Um, slightly different stance. I mean, that gives quite a lot of uh, clearance in terms of the string um, on the body, so can work really well. I think I think she works a bit with Kesey Lee at the uh, US Training Center as well. So perhaps something that's come from there. Woods. That was the first arrow, not happy with that for obvious reasons. There is a little bit of a lean with Croppen as well, but in particular the start of her draw is well, quite unique. Yeah, every archer can, can draw in their own kind of style. The only exception to that is obviously the high draw. You don't want to have that front arm leading. The arrow must remain parallel to the ground. Well, a two set point to nil lead for Croffin means Calford will shoot first in the second set. Longer hold, bit of shaking, Just struggling to commit to the shot and Get that arrow through the clicker. some kind of pressure on the German. A big opportunity to get a big lead here. She's actually pulled out of that a little bit. 
Oh, and an eight is enough for a 27. What on earth happened there? <laughs> I think it's just the nerves getting to her. She's struggling to get through that clicker. So sometimes when you're under a lot of pressure, your brain's sort of telling you, you know, just be careful. You know, don't, you know, don't want to commit. And she's just slowing down and struggling to get through. So she got to a point where she would normally, in any other scenario, have come down and restart the shot. But they only get 20 seconds to shoot that arrow. So she didn't have time to start again properly. She, she quickly realized that and just had to commit to the shot and, and got away with it, really. She certainly did. Very smile on the face of Casey Calfold as well. The arrows being retrieved. A real moment here for Michelle Cropper. Look at that, she's absolutely oh, she's trembling with the, the tension there. Yeah, you can see, you know, she she decided in her mind that I need to come down. I've, you know, I'm up too long, I'm shaking, but then quickly realized, oh, I haven't got a time, keep going. Well, here we go for set number three. Cruppen had a minor scare there, but she's 4-0 up. Casey Calfold will shoot first in the third. Getting the biggest cheer of the lot today with that 10 to start off with, but matched by Kruppen. Again, just a quick reset. Trying to calm myself. The nerves here, exceptional. Best set of the lot so far for Calfold. A 29. Can get matched here. She's pulled that out for a seven. And things are getting a little bit shaky here. And Nikki, the, the start of Croppen's draw, she has a very deliberate raise of the bow, uh, and it is quite controlled and quite slow, and that mm. obviously is her process, but it's eating in so much time. I think the main thing is she's just trying to <laughs> settle herself down, isn't she, as well? And I think it was that second arrow we saw her sort of almost start and then think, right, just one more deep breath before I go. But that 20 seconds, you know, is not a lot of time. Some archers will wait and wait to, to really put the pressure on themselves because she's struggling to commit at the moment. She's full draw a long time. So if she does actually use up a bit more of the time at the beginning, that forces her to make the shot. Um, and maybe that's what she needs. Well, starting to show cracks. I think that, you know, the where she is at the moment, the longer this match goes on, the more chance Calfold has. She's got back two, and you keep saying it, 4-0 up. Archers can be known to relax a little too much. Start of the fourth. Calfold has found the middle of the target. Really starting to get in the groove now, isn't she? Getting that confidence back. Putting the pressure on Croppen. Again, a pause, a couple of deep breaths. Got to calm myself. Well, the writing has been on the wall since the second set. Huge opportunity for Calfold. Oh, now, it doesn't really matter. It's marked as a 9 for a measure, but a 29 is going to be more than enough for Calfold to draw level. Now, interestingly, firstly, that was a quicker shot, and secondly, Coppin's coach has been calling the countdown from 5 until that last, that last arrow when she started at 10. 
Yeah, I think the pressure on that last hour for her was off, wasn't it? You know, she knew the set was over, so she managed to calm herself. And exa that's exactly what she needed. She needed to give herself a good feeling, a good chance now to get back into this final set. You know, she had it all and she just got so nervous, it, it's going away from her. So she's got to recover herself. I'll we'll take a look back over that set. The first hour is setting the tone. Taken her, as you say, a while to get into it, but she is there. But maybe that last hour is a little bit of a fillip for Croppen to get going again in this fifth and final regulation, at least, set. So gone 4 0 up the German, being pegged back to four apiece. We go into the fifth. The heebie jeebies still going to be with the German archer. She looked more calm and collected, didn't she? Less of a shaking. Got that shot away. Casey's okay, so just checking over a bow, perhaps something just buzzed on that shot. The nerves are creeping back in. This is an important arrow though for Calfold. She needs to get herself back into this with a big number. Just clipping the nine. So this can be done now. And nine required. She's popped it into the nine, and that is now ungettable. And there is the reaction to that. She had a massive wobble in sets three and four. Calfold fought back bravely, but in the end, it's not been enough. And Michelle Croppen will go through to the semi finals with a 6 4 victory. Warm hug of congratulations from Casey Carfold. Michelle Croppen has a little bit of time to look at how she is going to navigate her way through the semi finals, but at least she is there. The German carries on here in Yankton.